Hello and welcome to another episode of Frightfully Forgotten Horror Movies. But before we get started, what are we drinking? Today we are drinking Tommy Doyle's Crushed Pumpkin Ale. <laughs> boogie man, boogie <laughs> man. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Today we're going to bring to you 1973's Theater of Blood. Directed by Douglas Hickox. And the movie stars the master, Vincent Price. Diana Rigg is in this. She sadly just passed away, but she was in the Avengers as Emma Peel. A Bond girl in On Her Majesty's yep. Secret Service. That's right. Ian Hendry's in this. He's another Avengers uh, guy. Alumni. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He was in a very notable horror movie, which we had covered, Tales from the Crypt. The movie starts off with George Maxwell getting a phone call. The cops on the other end saying there's a bunch of squatters at one of your pieces of property. Gets a couple of policemen together. Lo and behold, he comes in. There's all these bums is drunk and yeah. drinking and some of them are like kind of having sex. And they start stabbing the hell out of him. The policeman isn't doing nothing and takes off his helmet. I thought you were dead. I am well. You are dead. <laughs> <laughs> starts reciting all this Shakespeare. A friend of Maxwell, Devlin, is uh, brought in to identify the body. Devlin notices a theater poster. Uh, Edward Leinhardt here, yeah, I had to give him a lot of bad reviews over the years, but sadly <laughs> he's passed away since. Then it cuts to another theater critic, Hector Snipe, being led to this abandoned theater saying that Edward Leinhardt's still alive. Oh, Leinhardt's still alive? Yeah. He wants to see you, so he gets brought into this theater and... I thought the theater burned down. Yeah. Snipe is sat down and he's at this book with all these bad reviews that he has written. <laughs> Leinhardt shows up and starts reciting all this Shakespeare again. And then all these bums, they take the guy and they hold him up and pales him <laughs> right through the chest with this big spear. It cuts to the guy's funeral. Leinhardt is there in disguise again as a grave digger. Right. Now, not only did he kill the guy, he's also fucking yeah. putting him in the ground <laughs> and reciting Shakespeare. And suddenly they hear this kind of horse Galloping. coming up and then <laughs> lo and behold the guy who they just buried is tied to this horse Horace Sprout trying to sleep with his wife in bed and oh you're snoring uh, oh okay as he rolls over you see Vincent Price's character with an assistant yeah. and they come in stabs Horace yeah. puts him to sleep saw yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this just starts like cutting the fucking guy's head yeah. off you're snoring again yeah. <laughs> Hypodermic yeah. <laughs> stabs her in the ass. It's not snoring, it's <laughs> sawing. <laughs> and the maid comes into the room. Ooh, and she passes out. Then she wakes up and the head's there. And then she passes out again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> One of the lead detectives and Devlin, mostly Devlin, realizes that these kills are happening according to the deaths that occur in some of Shakespeare's plays. We get introduced to Trevor Dickman, kind of sitting outside having a brandy. Yeah. And uh, Diana Riggs' character, Edwina, Ed Edwina struts up with her go-go boots and yeah. her short skirt and everything. <laughs> and she lures Trevor to an abandoned theater where he's uh, supposed to be involved in this new style of, yeah. of theater <laughs> acting where he's uh, supposed to participate. Sure, he participates. He gets his fucking heart cut out. <laughs> <laughs> and put on the scale. Devlin realizes at this point that all of these deaths are centered around all of the plays that Leinhardt did, like in one circuit. And all the critics that are kicking the bucket here are ones that gave Leinhardt bad reviews. It cuts to a flashback where all these fucking critics are sitting around. Oh, ho, ho. Yeah. poor Leinhardt comes in. And he's not the recipient of the award that he feels he should have got. Jumps off the balcony and commits suicide. Devlin's the last one left. He has to try and expose Lionheart and his daughter. So if you want to find out what happens with Edwina and Edward <laughs> and Devlin, keep watching Theater of Blood. The biggest thing that sets this movie apart from a lot of others are the kills. And how fun and extravagant and over the top they are. Slashers in the 80s are known for being like over the top mm -hmm. and silly and fun with the kills. But this movie's kind of really ahead of its time of being like, yeah, go get him. Yeah, yeah, I want to see the next guy bite the bullet. The barbershop one is really good and funny. My name is Butch. <laughs> Oh, don't worry about it. Come on, baby. Yeah. He's all trying to be like hip and yeah. with it. He's so old. <laughs> and he 
puts that woman in that chair with that hair dryer, big dial, and like dials it in and just electrocutes yeah. her. There's another really good kill where he actually doesn't do the killing. He's massaging this woman. And the husband comes home and hears all this moaning and oh yeah, oh, yeah. oh that's the right and spot. The bed's all squeaky. Yeah. <laughs> he thinks that his wife is cheating on him and he barges in and starts like pushes Vincent Price aside and starts choking the wife to death and Vincent Price just walks away and tells the cop, oh I think he's killing his wife over there. Oh, thank you sir. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And that's great. And they arrest the guy, and yeah, he doesn't kill him, but he goes to jail for life. So in essence, his life is over. Mm. Then there's the guy with the dogs. Oh, and my little babies, my my doggy woggies. It's actually quite elaborate. Yeah. Like he creates like this whole sort of TV food show, A fake TV. A fake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and. Uh, they start feeding him like a baked pie, and it turns out that it's his fucking dogs in the pie that they're feeding him. Yeah. Oh. And then they kill him by like putting this <laughs> funnel in his face and like suffocating him by shoving all this dog meat down yeah. his throat with this shovel. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, they're all based off of a Shakespearean play. It just all rounds itself out and ties in together so well. Movies before this were more story based too, right? And you'd he have a kill here and there, and yeah. they wouldn't be anywhere near as gory as yeah. this too. Or as plentiful. <laughs> yeah. Like this, the body count in this film is super high. There's a really good sort of backstory to the movie and the movie itself, right? The main plot. The motive, you know? Yeah. Who doesn't want to fucking kill off a critic <laughs> that has written something bad about you in the press? Like, anyone who's done anything artistic right. and has been critiqued in a poor way can live vicariously through this movie like, fuck you! <laughs> exactly, you know? yeah. The critics too, yeah. right? You know, they're out of touch, they're old, they're stuffy. You're stuck up. You just hate them! Yeah, you do, yeah. <laughs> it also deals with the idea of like, how a bad review or a bad critique can affect a person or an actor or an artist. Like, in this case, like, poor Lionheart, he's driven to suicide by bad reviews. It's his whole life, yeah. right? It's his career, yeah. it's what he loves to do, and then it's shit on. You're told you're no good. Yeah, so it's pretty deep <laughs> in that in that way, and <laughs> I think right. a lot of people could relate to that. Right. right. Also could easily be missed, though, too, because there's that comedic side to this movie. This movie's probably more comedy than it is horror. It's like a comedy disguised as a horror. Yeah, you know, for theater sure. of Blood sounds like, oh, a great horror movie, but in fact, this is a great horror comedy. And Vincent Price in this is so good. He was always a fan of Shakespeare, so this movie apparently gave him a chance to finally not do a whole play, but recite some Shakespeare in the way he would do it if he was on stage. Breath of fresh air, I think, to see Vincent Price doing this role. Not too many people I could see doing his part no. in this. Like, no. And pull off the comedy the way he did. It kind of reminds me of like a bit of a Peter Sellers performance. A lot of action in this movie too, you know? Like there's a really fun fencing scene. And it's super <laughs> not them. <laughs> Which is a good, you know, fencing is a great way to disguise the fact it's not the actors. Because they got the helmet on. They're on that trampoline. Yeah. And fencing on the trampoline. They're all <laughs> flipping yeah. around and everything. And they're like, both yeah. old. <laughs> Yeah, they could never pull it off for real. So if you're in the mood for like a real fun... 70s slasher, Yeah, really. 70s slasher, really, <laughs> uh, way ahead of its time, and want to see Vincent Price out of his element doing something really fun and different, yeah. you definitely have to check out Theater of Blood. It's probably one of the better horror comedies. And until then, keep drinking.